Good evening everybody! Today we continue our glorious deep dive down the buckethead rabbit hole with Pike 39 Twisterland. So let's begin. Woo! Released as a free download on November 26, 2013, Twister Lend was the sixth album to be released in that month alone. Crazy. And judging by the song titles, it was gonna be a heavy one. The album opens up with the 11 and a half minute closed triptych, and oh my. What starts as a seemingly standard rock song then transcends into a rip-roaring shred solo that just builds and builds for 9 minutes. 5 star, instant classic and a phenomenal way to start the album. <laughs> Ghouls of the Sea goes super hard and is far more off the wall than the closed triptych. A great flow to the song, it has everything from nubbing to kill switch tapping to super shred all in the space of 4 minutes. Nice. Just under 2 minutes, track 3, Canal System, is the shortest song on the album, but gets everything in that it needs. Cool riffage, insane shred, fun short metal. Next up is track 4, Forbidden Fold. My second favourite song up to this point, it has an excellent flow that takes its time to breathe between heavy riffage and is excellently complemented by the drums, which are outstanding throughout the whole album. Track 5, Gloomy Emptiness, is another short quality song. Two and a half minutes that changes direction several different times without slowing itself down or losing its flow. Good stuff. Six, Bowling for Slaughters was next, multiple changes, excellent pinch harmonics and crazy ass tapping sequences. Big B leaving it all out there. The album closes with track 7, the title song Twisterland. And it's more of the same. Well-constructed madness that doesn't go too far off the rails and ends the album on a high note. Overall, Pike 39 Twisterland is a solid, thoroughly enjoyable and consistent album. The kind of album you probably rob a bank to. Heavy riffs intertwined with maniacal shred like only Buckethead can deliver. The closed triptych is easily the album's best track and the rest of the album doesn't disappoint. And in all honesty, it's a Pike that really doesn't get enough praise. After adding up the rating I gave for each song, it came to an impressive 73.5%, which I categorise as very good. So what's your rating for Pike 39? To work out what percentage you give the album, rate each song out of 5 stars, add up your total and divide it by the total score possible, which for Pike 39 is 35, then times it by 100. Buckethead in shred god mode. Fuck yeah.